We just finished the workshop here, folks, and this is Vader and this is Sarah. Now, Sarah is uh, running our outlet in uh, several, it's her outlet, carrying our range there. Yep. And now you came today to do the workshop with us, and I thought, well, we've got the opportunity. She's down here, she's driven a couple hundred kilometres almost to come and Not do quite. it. Not quite. Not quite. Don't mind exaggerate, make people no, feel. Not. No, no it right. is. It'll come from the valley, so yeah, yeah. it's really awesome. Yeah. It's, yeah you have a good time? time? Yeah, no, yeah. it's grass and grass day for no traffic on the road yeah, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, we don't know what's happening with the footy game at the moment because as we're speaking now, the game's on. We've just finished the workshop Saturday afternoon, folks, if you want to know what's happening. And we'll just take you over to a garden bed that we finished planting. Although it looks like someone's been digging here after we left. No, they've created divots and valleys here. So what was the rule? This is the test for Sarah now. She had to learn everything. Craig Cashbury was presenting for a few hours and we came out and did this planting here. So what is the planting rule? As, well, not a rule, but what's the, the, the ideal um, combination of plants? How many plant families? We want to put four. Four. About, about four or yeah. a couple more, but yeah, yeah, definitely four. four. So definitely four varieties, four. and with, when we say four varieties, we're not talking about four different tomato varieties, or we've got petunias here. Mm -hmm. What's that one there? That's another petunia. We've got onions there. So we're not talking four different tomatoes, but rather four family groups. So you've got the marigolds, you've got the um, onions, the alliums, yep. your tomatoes as well, and we've got some mar uh, petunias. But I think we need a lettuce plant in here as well. So we haven't got that in yet, but we'll add that into it as we go on. And the layering? Yep, what do you so think? Yeah, so we've put... Um we put the bean straw in there, we've yeah. put our um, sticks in there as well, yeah. so we've got the aeration yeah. happening, yeah. our bean straw. We've watered all that one as yeah. well first um, yeah. to make sure that it's hydrated so that yeah. it's not going to suck all this out of it. Then we had yeah. our planting mix and our cocoa Com compost. compost. And co yeah, the three, the the three trifectas, the three amigos. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, hydrated all. It's all um, definitely well and truly hydrated, hydrated now. She was holding the hose. <laughs> <laughs> it was running at the sides at the same time. But we're having a good time. And then we just put the mulch on. And uh, I think the winning goal here, I mean, everything's great as far as the, the processing is concerned, I think. I mean, because it's what I do and I love it. But I think a lot of people really love the idea of inoculating the mulch. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah, they were yeah. definitely in there with their hands and stuff. <laughs> yes, it is. No, it's, um, they were really... Um, open to that, they really did yeah, enjoy that. Say it, say it, just say it out, <laughs> say, speak. Um, yeah, I think they didn't realise just how um, well it goes down without, it's not blowing away anymore. Yeah, yeah. You know, and things like yeah, that. Yeah. So, so many benefits to it, is yeah. probably what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, they look, didn't realise how beneficial it was to do so. Well, it, it just speeds up the process of um, building life in the soil. Yep. So if you've got microbes in the soil, and for those who've never watched me before, hadn't seen a lot of the footage, it's all about building life and repopulating microbial activity in your soil. And the best way to do it is basically by using organic matter. And we're talking stuff that the microbes can actually digest. Yep. And now when we say organic matter, it can be anything that's naturally created by nature, your composting, um, a frass or a, uh, a manure, I suppose, that's you've allowed it to dehydrate a little bit so you're not leaching out um, nitrogen and uric, uric acid, but it has to be done naturally, otherwise you're basically killing the life in the soil. Um, yeah. And that's the whole message here. To be able to plant continuously. Yes, I haven't. Definitely. I actually, I'm doing it. You are doing it. Because I've you done are. a bed there, done another bed there. Not one seedling at a time, but one bed at a time. And if I do yep. one a week, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 11, 12. Wait, I'm still counting. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. I'm still counting. 30, 31, 32, 35, 36 beds. There's 52 weeks in the year. I put another 10, 20 beds in here. Yep. One bed a week. Yep. I'll never go hungry. <laughs> That's it. It's definitely, um, you know, all that succession, um, succession planting and stuff like yeah. that. You know, don't plant it all at once. You need to do um, some this week or, or a day or a yeah. week in between um, so that you get um, your crops a little bit at a time so then you can keep going without getting that influx of having too much at once. I mean, yeah. it's great that you can pass it out to your yeah, friends so. and family um, or you can preserve and things like that, but... Um, you know, once that's gone, it's gone. So this, this season for um, your veggies and stuff is actually quite a bit longer than just the, that one, that one plant. Harvest. Yeah. That, you know, that plant can be planted several times over during that, that, that growing time. season. Yeah, absolutely. So we so. haven't even asked anything about you, Sarah. <laughs> I've been so rude to talk about myself <laughs> and how proud I am with my raised beds here. And you should be, because well, they are fantastic. You. Well, they, they are, are thank fantastic. you. But let's let people know about you, because one thing we're yeah. going to do, folks, um, 
moving forward is actually visit all the outlets, all the families, the people who are running them, the faces behind the places. And Sarah is one of them, several. Yep. This is impromptu. We didn't actually plan this. I said to the operator there, which you all know who he is, so that let's pull the camera out and before you go let's grab a little segment with you so people can meet you because we are going to venture out to all the outlets and meet them all because it's important to me that people know and put a face behind the name and the mm -hmm. place yeah. unlike the big chain stores where you're chasing them down the aisle and they're trying to run away from you as fast as possible <laughs> not the garden centers the independent ones but yep. you know what i mean yes. so tell us a little bit about yourself so you're in Seville. Yes. I'll start you off. You've yep. got a beautiful front garden there. You've been actively planting. You've built a hot mm -hmm. house. Yes. You've dropped a slab of concrete so you can put all the bags there for us. Yes. You've built a shed at the back and, fought f and, and f fitted it out yes. with all the shelving so you can put all the product right. So you yep. literally build an outlet, not just over Two and a half days. In two and a half days. Yep. Nuts. I built a, a hot house on the front of my house and a shed in two and a half and you, days. And you've got the whole garden going and yep. you sowed seeds everywhere and you've got this shed with the shelving and it's stocked up now yep. and you're ready to rock and roll and you made mm. your venture. And you talk about me not getting to sleep. <laughs> yeah, wow. There you go. So what time do you get up? Uh, about honest? five every morning. Good. Yeah. And you're loving it. So yeah. background? Um, farming a uh, fair bit so okay. um i did alshamiri farms uh back in the day i done um traineeship and floriculture and horticulture there uh worked on a zucchini flower farm for about nine years Picking before flowers. i had my kids um yes so zucchinis with the flowers on okay. them so the small ones so yep. we sent them off to restaurants and things like that oh, so nice. i was supervisor there for yeah um yeah for about nine years before i had my um, my daughter um that was that was fantastic so that um just loving the outdoors yeah, yeah. and stuff so you've had a lot um, worked of, in uh, retail and stuff like that yeah. um as well so i've had a bit of uh lots of bits and pieces yeah, yeah. Over the years, good on you Good really experience. really grounded this is where i um, are you connecting yep where I, where I need to be yeah yep. and you're feeling good about it confident yeah, otherwise 100%. you wouldn't be standing next to me here right no, <laughs> no so no. we're here to 100%. nurture and help everybody folks as you can see sarah's jump on board and she's a wealth of knowledge as well and a very passionate gardener i've seen what she does and <laughs> She saw my little hot house. She goes, I'm going to bring you some seedlings, Vasily. <laughs> it's it's um, almost embarrassing that she has to, but I no, just don't have the time a, by, by comparison. And yeah. then that's the thing. So yeah. what, what my thing is for me, yeah. um, obviously I've worked on farms, which is different home gardening. Yeah. Um, one person at a time just trying to help um, guide people, show people that there are choices and variety of other varieties out there, mm. not just what we can, what we're given yeah. um, from, from our nurseries, yeah. etc. Yeah. Um, there are more. You guys have access to the same seeds, but however, not everybody is up to yeah. being able to raise those seeds yeah. or things like that yeah. and understand what they need. Yeah. I'm going to do that part for you. You can come and, um, and oh, I'm yeah, happy to this. guide you and give you a good quality product along with your stuff because I use that personally myself yeah. and, I ha and I've compared the differences. Yeah. Um, I currently have nursery um, brought seedlings yeah. myself. Yeah. Put them next to mine and... And it's chalk and cheese. 100%. It's totally. 100%. Yeah. But I need to do those comparisons yeah, yeah. for myself so that yeah. I can stand behind what I've got. Exactly. Um, like yourself. Yeah. Um, and that's where... It's a trial and error where you experience yes. it and explore it and the results are your your information that you use for R&D. Yeah. So you know what works and what doesn't for you. Yeah. And the other part is like, you know, um, coming out today and stuff and seeing your your place yeah. um, and your environment. We got here and it's windy out there. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it was a light wind. Um, for me, that's not, um, I don't get winds like that out my way either. I'm quite, we do, but we do. you're well enclosed, yeah. Big ones, but um, not the way it come across your yeah. property. So look yeah, at your plants you and how they go. Yeah, I showed you those raised beds there. Yeah, those beds up there. And I showed her the raised beds and that's past where the conifer hedge is here. Uh, as I wish they take away the sunlight, but they also stop the wind. And there's plants out there, which is a rocket cellar that's been beaten to death, wiggling from its throat at the base. And it's, as I grabbed one, it just mm -hmm. fell out. Yeah. And it was attacked by aphids. So the bricks can has dropped because of the environmental factor impact it has on your garden. So it's not just the soil, it's above ground as well so if you haven't got the right climatic or microclimates you're going to struggle as i have been struggling here hence the hot house which is still packed up by the way <laughs> so will you um we might bring all the outlet people yeah we'll come and have a working bee we'll come and do it yeah that sounds good yeah I'll we're, cook we're a, all there. i've got plenty of sheep to eat 
<laughs> anyway, check out our website, VasilisGarden.com. Servals online as well, so you can shop online and pop into the store and collect it, or just shop in there and say hello to Sarah. Beautiful place to have a look at, lots of vegetables as well. And soon she'll be having seedlings available. Am I right in saying that? Have yes, I preempted soon. it to No, good. no, they're coming soon. Good, good. They're all growing and, and hardening as we speak. Yep. And hello to everybody else out there at the outlets. Have a great weekend from Eva Silly, Maresi, Etsy. Happy show, say it, say it. Maresi. That's it. <laughs>